Let's bring in Steve Jerzyk. He's the acting administrator for NASA. Good morning, sir. Congratulations. Hoda and I have about a million dumb questions yes, for you. Do. <laughs> like, starting with, huh? How did you even pull that off? But um, let's talk about, I mean, you stuck the landing. Yeah. NASA likes to call that final approach the seven minutes of terror. Mm -hmm. Did it live up to its name? Yeah, it was pretty nerve-wracking, Savannah. <laughs> it, you you kind of have time, real time on Mars when the event actually occurred. And then 11 minutes later, because of the trip time of the communication system signal, you actually get confirmation that that event actually happened. So oh. for those seven minutes, it was fairly nerve wracking. We've been seeing the video of everybody high fiving and having like the time of their lives. Will you, we, we've seen it, but would you put into words what was going on in that moment? Yeah, so we we all know how hard it is to land something on Mars, and uh, and although this team did an amazing job in preparing to land, uh, it, it's never guaranteed, and so it is almost like a, a, a dream when you get that touchdown signal and get that first picture back, and you're like, I, I can't believe we did it again, and and that video will never get old of us celebrating in the control room. I know. And I mean, Johnny on the spot, like mm -hmm. we can't even set our GPS to get to the right gas station. And you landed at this like pinpoint place. Why was that location selected? And, and what were, why are you there? What, what's the work ahead? Yeah. So, you know, we um, had another capability on this uh, mission called terrain relative navigation. And that allowed us to land in a spot that was more dangerous to land in, more rocky, more hills, more sand than previously. And we wanted to land in this spot because it looks like from the geology, it was, it's an ancient river delta. Mm. You can see a river coming in and then fanning out and, uh, and very geologically interesting. Um, so uh, that's why we wanted to land there. And we needed that those eyes, that camera looking down as we were landing to be able to find that flat, not rocky spot um, in signs that life ever existed on Mars. So I guess the idea is to put that stuff in a test tube and leave it behind and let somebody else pick it up. Is that the plan? Yeah, that's right. So um, on the end of that robot arm is the turret with a drill. And the scientists are going to look for places uh, that are where the soil might be interesting to analyze back here on Earth and put that soil in a tube, seal it, and lay it on the surface of, of Mars. And, and in, in six to eight years, <laughs> we're going to launch a spacecraft to Mars orbit. We're going to have another rover down on the surface that's going to pick those up, put them in a small rocket, launch them off the surface of Mars back to the orbiter, and the orbiter brings them back oh to gosh. Earth in a entry vehicle. <laughs> of course, wow. because obviously you just put it in a rocket and shoot it back to right. a, another you know, <laughs> spacecraft. Amazing. Big dreams, wow. big moment. Steve Jerzyk, our congratulations to you and all of the engineers and team members who worked in it and just uh, hope they're feeling good this morning because they've made us proud. Hey, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.